Hello everyone, today I'll teach you how to install and download and do everything with mods for Arma 3. Basically everything you need to do and how to organize them. First things first, go to armaholic.com and go to Arma 3 Sync Launcher. I will leave that link in the description for you. Come here and we have to download this program. First of all, got the requirement. It needs Java Runtime Environment 7. When you open this up, you'll get this window. If you have it installed, you don't need to do this. If you don't, accept the license and choose your Windows type. Mine is Windows 64 and just you can choose either one of these. This one is compressed, this one is not, doesn't matter. Download one of them and install it. After you do that, you come and click on this. It will make you. It will help you to download the launcher. After you download the launcher, install it very easily. It doesn't matter when you install it. But before that, you could install it. It's going to be coming in a WinRAR file like this. It's going to be like that. You know, to open WinRAR files, you have to download and install WinRAR here. I will leave the link for the WinRAR as well. Come and choose your language. For instance, English. Click on it. Install this. Boom. That's it. After that, you can open up the file that you download with this link. After you do that, just open it up. Doesn't matter what's here, just drag it and drop it here and then install it. Doesn't matter where you install it, but the directory that it's required for Arma 3 folder has to be the file the, the place that you installed your Arma. For me, I, st I installed it in e Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3. This is my directory over here. If you don't find it, just go to your uh, Steam where you installed your games, basically. Okay, we got the launcher set, up, set and running. After that, when you, we open up the launcher, double click it, run it, you'll get this. A list of the mods and list of the folders that you can make, so, so you can actually organize and activate them. So these are the mods, that none of them are activated. I'll tell you guys how to get this as well. For you probably don't have any mods installed yet, so whenever you install mods, it's gonna be coming here, and there are the here you can actually activate the mods. Simply add a group, anything that you, you know. It's just something f to organize your mo your mods and stuff. For me, I organize them. I have these mods that uh, actually affect the editor. I have these that affect the uh, terrain and the maps. You know, just something to organize. Up here you can make different uh, profiles, just hit new and you'll make a new profile. Okay, you see? Nothing is shown. This is a new, totally new profile for you. Let's remove this, go back to default, okay. Now, onto the mods, how to get them and install them. We did this and this, and here is the place that you get the mods, armaholic.com. I'll also leave a link for this. Up here, click on Arma 3. Once you go to Arma 3, you don't actually have to click on Arma 3, just click on Downloads. When you do that, you'll come to this window. Click on Arma 3, you'll get on this window. These are the different types of mods that you can download and install. For instance, we'll be doing a, a mod that's going to be in the add-ons. When I click it, it gives me another set of uh, classes to choose. These are just, this is just to organize the mods for you guys. Let's do a mod from objects. After I do that, you'll get all the mods. You can play around with them with like how many times it's downloaded, when it was uploaded, the author and blah blah blah. Choose anything of them. We'll choose this mod called CJTF101 Editor. This will add extra buildings for the editors that you, so you can basically build up your towns and stuff. Here, you look at the installation. If it's something like that, like this, just ignore it. Most of the time it's like this. It's basic installation. You don't have to do anything. Thing that I told you, that's all you have to do. So just skip it, look at here, see if it has any requirements. No requirements? Cool. Click on this, you download it. After you download it, you get the file as a WinRAR. In the WinRAR, you get the actual file. So, what to do with these files? You go to the Arma directory, guys, the thing that we went before. You drag and drop this here. When you do that, boom, the mod is yours. So, let's right now find this mod. 
I actually renamed it for this doesn't matter what you rename it to and this is the general shape of a modding file it's the folder double click there is an add-on folder if there is not if there isn't any add-on folders this program is not going to be reading it and your mod is probably not going to work in it there's PBO file just leave it like that leave this like that and that's this is basically it. this is your general type of mod guys it has to be an add-on this and this all you have to do is to drag and drop it once you hit refresh here it will be right here let's find it there it is you just basically drag and drop it to whatever kind of category you want to add for me it's in my editor right here once you click it that mod is activated you go in the game you have it and for more advanced mods or some unorganized mods some mods like this it's an African pack it has requirements see every time you download the mod see if it has any requirements for this it has NATO weapons requirement when you go to the NATO section again look at and see if it has any requirements to basically this mod in order to work it needs two more mods now you open both of them as well see if these have requirements as well this one has a requirement but it is the same as this we already opened it over here so doesn't matter so basically in order to get African conflict to work I need one two three more uh, more mods I need three more mods to actually play with this when you come to here it has some optional requirements you basically don't need those so all you have to do is go by order this needs this this needs these two this one needs this one which is this one and this doesn't need anything that you need so just download this install it download this install it download this and install it and then download this and install it you basically got all of these goodies all in one these are for multiple requirement mods now let's look at some other mods see what else we can have in a mod folder I have a bunch of mods here see all of these are mods let's find something where oh this was this is a good example sometimes the mods come like this they don't have any folders just the two files what we actually have to do is to make a folder call it at whatever the name is come in here add make a folder called add-on and with this put these two files in here give you a file or the by sign file once you do this now it's gonna be readable by our program when I refresh I get the what if I could find it where is W A B C D E F G S I J K L M N O P Q R S T V W Wonder Panzer, what the hell is it? Oh, that that's good. That's good. We found it. It has to be called add-ons. See, guys, a little mistake can can screw up everything that you have. Then you drag and drop it to whatever you want and hit that click okay guys that's all you have to make sure the folder is in that way otherwise it's not gonna be readable that's why it's so 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 required to do so let's see if I can find some other kinds of different mods you know different kinds of mods things like these when it comes to you what matters these are just pictures and notes and stuff this is what matters at the folder okay it's called at whatever folder it is you see there's keys add-ons just leave this as, as it is make sure you have this add-on folder okay just drag and drop at this folder to your game and you should have this some other things as well just drag and drop sometimes it's also very useful to, to, to read these sometimes it has um, extra things that you have to do
see guys it's all like this these are some optional files if you want some of these optional files to work see these are bison and people files you have to drag these and put them also in the add-on folder it all depends on the cell on the on the mod itself but this is basically the general shape of a mod and you should have no problem with it all of these mods work like that I didn't do anything special for any of them except maybe making a folder and call it whatever it's called so I hope you guys learned something today I hope you guys know how to mod now or actually install mods Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, just type it in the chat and in the comment section, I will definitely reply. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. God be with all of you.